haven't had fun playing RuneScape in years. Worrying about efficiency and raids killed my enjoyment for the game. But then, I had an idea. Meet Big Burger Boy, my first Iron Man ever, where I'm just gonna play however I want to no matter how inefficient. The goal? Max Inferno Cave. Yo, starting episode 13 out with the level 70 farming, another requirement out of the way for Song of the Elves. There is 70 agility, let's go. Yet another requirement for Song of the Elves completed. Ow. I think next I'm gonna go for 65 runecrafting at Guardians of the Rift. Now, I do not need runecrafting directly for Song of the Elves, however, I would like to get my magic level up a little bit because it's only 76 and I'm not that good of a PVMer to do CG with 76 magic and 65 runecrafting would A give me a lot of runes and B help me do our dugnugnu hard diaries which are probably one of the most useful diaries I can do right now as it will increase my thieving like pickpocket rates and that's really useful for a master farmer that's where I'm gonna get most of my seeds from. I don't know how long this will take, I've done like 3kc of Guardians of the Rift before, so let's go check it out. But before we do that, I just realized that I'm gonna need NPC contact to repair my pouches, so I'm gonna go get 60 mining to do Lunar Diplomacy and unlock the NPC contact. I don't know why I would want to speak to myself, but hey, if that's what the game wants... There is 57 mining. Hey, 58. There it is, 59. Just one more level to go. And that is 60. We're out of here. Oh god, I'm fighting me right now. I have to say I'm pretty easy to defeat. I forgot how annoying this quest is, but I'm happy it's nearing to the end now. Finally, <laughs> Lunar Diplomacy completed. We have access to a whole new spellbook. Let's go. And more importantly, oh, we got a runecrafting level, but we have NPC contact now. Alright, while I'm here, I'm just gonna buy some astral rune. Oh, they're only 54 each. That's so cheap. Uh, the other ones are more expensive, but yeah, get some law runes as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna buy out astral runes. Hey, we have the Lunar Spellbook now, NPC contact unlocked, we can go to Guardians of the Rift, I picked up 1.3k Astral Runes as well, beautiful. Hey, there's 40 runecrafting, this minigame is not bad at all so far. There is 45. Hey, 50 runecrafting, that means we have to go get a large pouch now, let's go. Well, that took longer than expected, but... We got it. Let's go back to Guardians of the Rift. 15 more levels to go. 51 easy game. Well, that's a little unexpected, but we just got 65 crafting here. <laughs> Let's go. We are about to get 60 rune crafting. There it is. I must say, this minigame makes rune crafting really easy. I love it. Yo, another unexpected level. That is 61 mining. Let's go. 62, we're becoming a skiller lately. There is 63 room crafting. Alright boys, we have 160 opens, we have two more levels to go here. But I decided I'm gonna spend my reward points right now, so let's see if we get anything good. Before I do these last two levels, I wanna see maybe if I can get some uh, rope pieces for the extra runes. Let's see. Chaos runes? What is an intricate pouch? Oh, okay. Oh, we got the giant pouch, nice. Abyssal red dye? <laughs> okay. No, oh, I don't even have to keep clicking, it just does it automatically. Okay, my bad. Wait, the dye is 1 in 1.2k. Uh, okay, I thought it was common. My bad, I guess. Okay, let me just bank my pouches for now. And these talismans. I don't know what this does. 
I'll just put it in here. I have no idea if I will need that or not. Oh, my bank is full. Yeah, I won't need the smoke diamond. You go in there. I got a lamp. XP? Okay. Uh, I hope that's not rare. Oh, it's not that rare. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop here. I kind of trolled a little bit because I just realized I'm not getting any death runes and apparently you get way less if you don't have the level to craft it. We did get 200 of... Uh, we can't even get a single piece. Fuck it. We got, the, we got the rare job, boys. Let's go. We take that. I'm going to be back here at 65 rune crafting and do all the rest. Nice. A lot of runes and the red die, surprisingly. Ah, we don't even have space. Let me clear out some space and go back to rune crafting. That is 64. Just one more level. I can't wait to be out of here already. And there it is. 65 rune crafting. Finally. And now for the fun part. It is time to get 111 pulls open here. Yo, hard clue scroll. Nice. Alright, well, those are all the pulls. Uh, we got an insane amount of runes. Look at all of those. 5k nature runes, 4k law. Uh, this is so beautiful to see. Wow. I can tell you this was so worth it already. I don't think I'm gonna have any room problems anytime soon. Damn. And now the moment of truth. Can we buy a piece? Uh... Okay, the hat is the most expensive. Yeah, I'll just get the hat. <laughs> hey, big burger fashionscape. Epic. Next up, I am gonna do 70 mining. Following the skiller vibes of this episode. <laughs> that is the first level of mining. 62 coming in. Easy. Bucket, bucket. No bucket. Hey, 71 farming, you'll love to see it. Nice little level coming in here. Just doing a quick farm run in between the mining levels. 63, gimme. All right, well, I got to 63 mining purely through sand and I'm getting kind of bored of it. So I think I'm just gonna swap over to mother load mine and just see how it goes. <clears throat> nice one, butthole. Thanks, man. There is 64. Motherload mine is so much more enjoyable than mining sand. This is actually FK, it's nice. With that level, we also hit 1.6k total level. Huge. Alrighty, that is 65. Nice looking level. 66. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the level 69. That is all I need in my life right now. Nice. Alrighty, that is level 70 mining. We are finished with yet another requirement for CG. Next up, obviously after mining we have to do smithing. We just have to, it's a rule. You mine and then you smith. Nice. Alright, well for smithing I'm gonna do Giant's Foundry. And I actually found this really good guide on YouTube for Giant's Foundry. I will link it in the description, but basically what you do is you buy Mithril Claws here in Yataso, and then you buy Steel Weapons from Mount Karum, and you go to Giant's Foundry with that, and you actually end up making profit alongside with decent smithing XP, so I'm gonna give it a try, and if you guys are interested in uh, more detailed explanations, just check out the description for the video. Alrighty, we have 800 Mithril Claws bot. Let's get over to Mount Karum. Visit our old friend Konar. <laughs> Alright, you buy steel battle axes and steel warhammers here. And you keep hopping. Yay! Alrighty, this plugin is so nice. I'm using the Giant's Foundry plugin on Runelight. And it tells me the best sword pieces to pick for the most XP, I guess. How does this work again? Claws and Warhammers. Oh. Oh, my bad. I guess it's 14 claws and then 7 steel weapons. Yeah, that makes sense from the amount I bought. <laughs> 
NPC behavior once again. I'm not even surprised at this point. Let's get to smithing. And this should be our first level. 9.2k XP. Nice. Give me the level. Hey, 60 smithing. Beautiful. And that is 61. Let's go. This is really fast. Well, I'm actually going to be taking a little detour here. Uh, I've been doing farm runs pretty consistently while training all the other stats, but I ran into a problem where I pretty much don't have any valuable seeds left that I can plant, so... 61 smithing right now, 9 more levels to go, but I'm gonna stop by Master Farmer for a couple of hours and hopefully I can get some more seeds. Let's go, got my rogue outfit out. Hey, 72 thieving. That is probably all I'm gonna do. I got a decent amount of seeds that I wanted. Uh, I can continue doing farm runs and let's get back to smithing now. Hey, 62. Yo, we have a 65 smithing coming in. Beautiful. Nice. There it is. Once I hand this in, we are going to be done with smithing. There is 70 smithing. Let's go. Yet another requirement for Song of the Elves completed. Now, I will be buying the double ammo mold with my foundry reputation. Basically, this will allow me to make 8 cannonballs instead of 4 at once. So, it's going to speed up making cannonballs for the future. Now... My next skill that I need for Song of the Elves is going to be woodcutting. I want to get 70 woodcutting before any other requirements. But I am going to be taking a little bit of a detour. Because I still need 70 herb lore. And the little amount of thieving I did last night is not going to be enough for farming. So my plan now is to go mine some volcanic ash because I'm running out of ultra compost as well. And then I'm gonna go blackjack until 80 or 81 thieving. And after that, I'm gonna do the Ardorgnugn Hard Diaries, which are gonna get me a 10% boost in pickpocketing chances, which is gonna be huge for the Master Farmer. So, yeah, after that, Master Farmer should be a lot more efficient and we should be getting a lot more seeds per hour. Those are the plans for now. Alright, there is 4,000 volcanic ash mined. I think this is gonna be enough for a little while. I'm gonna be making compost potions and then turning my compost into super compost and then using the volcanic ash for the super compost. Let's go. Alrighty, 141 compost potions. That's all I got for Harrowlanders, unfortunately, but it still should be a pretty decent amount of super composts. Alright, time for the ultra compost part. I was at first making super compost at the like, regular compost bins, but I got a little bit lazy of emptying them and filling them back up, so I'm just doing this the herbler way. And there it is, 437 ultra compost. That's gonna last us a long time. Plant-based diet, how about bucket-based diet? Gimme, give gimme give bucket, bucket I need, no. Okay, palm tree seeds, I can't complain about that. <laughs> Alright, well, I think the time has come to start doing some farming contracts, because I have never done them before. I don't know why, but I thought they were like a mini game where you just keep doing them and you can't leave, but it's just asking you to plant one thing at a time and then you get a bunch of seeds after you clear it or check its health, so... That's going to be another beautiful addition to our daily farming runs, and it's going to give us a bunch of seeds, hopefully. I don't know how good the medium tier is, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, well... I wanted to do our Dugnu Gunu Diaries first, and for that we needed three quests, but... For Enlightened Journey, we need Willow Branches, which we can't get without growing Willow Trees. And for some of the diary steps, we need to plant some seeds as well and a palm tree. So those are not going to be ready for a couple of hours. So I am just going to get my thieving up first and then maybe farming and then do diaries. But yeah, I want to do these three things. I want to get my thieving up to 80 or 81. Get my farming up a little bit. Maybe go to Tithe Farm for a little while. Get the seed box, which is going to be really useful for thieving as well. And get our Dugnu Hard Diaries done for the 10% pickpocket boost. And after all of that, we can pretty much get 
seeds really easily from Master Farmer, so yeah, let's get even. I'm just gonna do a little farm run first though. I haven't done any farming contracts because I thought they would be a pain, but I'm just gonna do them anytime I do a farm run. So I'm gonna start doing them and yeah, should be getting a lot of seeds soon. Hey, 72 farming. Just one level away from the skill spec special. Alrighty, this should be the first farming contract completed. Let's see if we get anything good. Hopefully we get 2 billion million Raynor seeds. Alright, let's see. Oh, beautiful already. Uh, uh, I mean, Calqua trees are nice, XP. Hey, there it is, the other funny number. Let's go. Hey, that is 74 thieving and I'm gonna end the episode here. We did a whole bunch of skilling, not the most interesting episode, but progress is progress and I'm hoping I can get Song of the Elves completed by the next episode or the next next episode. Uh, we are gonna start Corrupted Gauntlet really soon and after that it's gonna be pure PVMing, hopefully. We will see. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you boys enjoyed watching this one, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.